Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Poigi here. Today we're going to talk about the best way to play the I-15 and Air Realistic. So uh, let's talk about the good things about this plane. One is it's just more maneuverable than any other plane at a reserve. Uh, you can outturn everything in it. Um, don't take out the I-15 bis. It doesn't turn as well as the regular I-15s, but for this one, you can outmaneuver anything. Uh, secondly is it climbs pretty well. And third is You've got four 7.62 or 30 caliber guns on it and tons of ammo. You got 3,000 rounds. So you can feel free to just shoot away. Just don't burn up your guns, but take all the shots you want. And, uh, and uh, yeah, it'll help you knock the guys out of the air. So let's take it out and see what we can do. All right, so the map is Lake Ladoga. This does not look like a familiar map to me, but it looks like it's very close quarters. So, um, yeah, some ground targets out there to hit. All right, so even though we are highly maneuverable, we are not gonna use that as an excuse not to get an energy advantage over our opponents. So we're gonna focus on getting that energy advantage by climbing at the beginning, and then with the energy advantage and the maneuverability, we should be freaking unstoppable. Let's take a look at the map. So we're taking off this way, we're taking off that way. Let's go ahead and aim for their left ground unit, kind of over here. Go ahead and climb around 125 miles per hour. And let's see who we're up against. So up against America, Great Britain, and France. Those are all good answers for us. Shouldn't be much we can't handle. And full team, 16 versus 16, so we should have plenty of targets, so glad we got all this ammo. A couple bombers on their side showing up now, 156. TBD, neither one of them can do a ton of damage to our bases, so those are alright. SB2 is going to have some front guns you need to watch out for. Looks like they got one big boy out there. Probably PBY. Be my guess. Alright, so this 156 is very tempting, but we just want to continue to uh, climb. Not worried about him. He's not going to do a ton of uh, damage to the bases, and we want to make sure that we've got that energy advantage over the fighters we're going to go against. So let's see, our teammates are mostly to our right if we get into trouble. We can peel off that way for some support. Do you see a P400? We're not going to want to get shot by. Hurricane's climbing pretty well. That PBY can do some damage to our bases, but he's too high up there for us to worry about. I'm going to head over towards this hurricane. I usually go for uh, highest target first. So whoever's climbing the most on their team's your first target. To want to leave them out there with the energy advantage over us. So Hurricane ended up diving, that's great. We're looking good. Just gonna continue to climb. Watch this unfold a little bit before we jump in there. Looks like we got most of our support over to the right, so. Those guys are screwed. Got too many reds around them. All right, so Hurricane and P26 under us. Our is here. I think we have time to dive on these guys before that big group over there comes and gets us. So let's dive in. Cut our throttle off to zero. 26 set up nice so the I-15 should get him. And get after this hurricane. Oh, too late for our buddy, unfortunately. Should have a shot here. Couple good hits. Head back in. He's down. All right, let's go ahead and climb up. I 
So with a big group like that, we don't want to be the only one who goes after them. Uh, we definitely want to not put ourselves in a situation where they have a huge numbers advantage over us. So we're just going to continue to climb. We'll go a little off course from the group, see if I can single out this Fury. And keep an eye on that F3F. Fury's a better first target for us. He's heading our direction too. Three F's getting into it with our I-15. Put him on fire. Just watch this Fury in the BF-2. BF-2 looks like he might want to climb stall for us. We'll definitely help him do that if that's what he wants. Small hits. It's a good turning uh, plane, but we're better at it. P400. They don't want to stand ahead on. Just want to try and make a miss. Slot in behind. Should be good. Lost our energy. He's on fire, he's going down. Alright, so nothing else that we can see right now to go after, so let's go ahead and hit some grounds. Let's see, they're down to three. One of them's a bomber. Uh, so we're going to come in low so we stay under where the uh, AA is going to take shots at us. We'll focus on AA first, then worry about the rest of them. So I think we're low enough now. Indestructible AA has been destructed. So it's easier to knock these out if you come in at more of an angle. But uh, make yourself susceptible to getting shot at. Let's see if we can test the line here a little bit. Still 1,800 rounds, looking good. Let's get after the rest of the AAs. Oh, screw the AAs, there's a bunch of vehicles right there. It's a nice little line. All right, SP2U coming our way. Not so worried about them. We can deal with them if we have to. F3F might be more of a problem for us. Let's get these AAs first. SP2U's getting close enough. Get some shots at them. Get out of the way his guns, slot him behind, try to stay below his back gunner. Should be good. Alright, he's down. Let's check on that F3F. Yep. Figured he would be getting close by now. Alright, let's try and get behind him. Still 1,200 rounds, so we can take some shots from like this. Try to keep them honest. We are very slow right now. We need to get our speed back up. And hopefully that 109 figures out to bring them back our way. Alright, 1,100 rounds to take some shots. One hit in there. Grab this AA while we're here. Alright, we're finally catching up to him. Been doing a lot of turning. The more you turn, the slower you're gonna go. We've been turning a bit less. Alright, he's down. Took a while, but we got there. And still 800 rounds. Love that. 
Alright, so I got one guy left. He's a bomber. Let's focus on the artillery here. Head back towards those vehicles. Get a good line of vehicles like this. It's uh, pretty easy pickings. Just make sure you get those AAs first. You'll do good. See me. One down. Two. Three. Good. Focus on the vehicles now. They should go a lot easier. Good little run there. Just flip back around and finish off the rest. Couple of them got away. One more flip around. We should have the rest. Guy just doesn't want to die. We got this though. Alright, so at this point, we're uh, just going to continue to hit grounds. We're going to head over to these guys here. Still get the AAs first. I see a few of them are left around. And depending on how we do, we might get close to ending the game just uh, by taking out the ground units. There's only three of us on our side. Interesting. Alright, so AA didn't come in low enough because we want that angle to be able to get those shots in easier. Alright, he's down. That guy's down 40 rounds. We'll try this last A and then we'll RTB. Nope. All right, guys, I'm going to go back to the base, rearm, refuel, and repair. I'll check one of the guys from back in the air. All right, that'll do it. Didn't make it back to uh, any action before uh, the game ended. We did go back, rearm, refuel, repair, and then flew out. Almost got to get a ground unit, but game ended. So let's take a look how we did. We uh, had five air targets, 20 ground targets. Got Thunderer and Survivor and got first place on the team. Um, so the key to this one is, you know, even though you can outturn everything, even though you've got, you know, a lot of advantages in that department, don't forget the fundamentals. So when you're in the I-15, still climb at the beginning, get the energy advantage. Don't take on large groups of guys by yourself um, and you should do really well. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you on the next one. America! Fuck yeah! To say this fucking day, yeah! Beautiful.